How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through some softwares that you need for your Amazon business. There's a whole bunch of softwares out there. I get questions all the time about, should I use this software? When do I need to use this software? So in this video, I'm gonna be hopefully showing you kind of step-by-step -step how as your business grows, when you should be implementing new softwares. Um, Cause when you're first starting off, you don't need all the softwares that we recommend. So I'll kind of give you some, some guidelines as far as how much you're doing per month. And then when you should consider upgrading, uh, when the time savings is worth it. So hopefully you'll find this video useful. If you want to go ahead and get plugged into a uh, Amazon reseller community, I have a completely free discord down below. We talk about ungating, we talk about sourcing questions. There's over 6,000 of you in there already, and I'd love to see you in there as well. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first software you're going to need, pretty much every business model needs Keepa when you first start. Uh, it's definitely the best tool on Amazon. Uh, it's incredibly useful. It shows you the price data. So let's just click on this example here. It'll show you the price data for every product on Amazon. I think it's super useful. Uh, you can see all kinds of useful data on here and you can actually use Keepa to find your first profitable product. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a quick demo on this. If you want a longer demo on how you can find profitable products using Keepa, there's going to be a link up there. Uh, but just real quick, I'll go ahead and show you this process. So you'd go ahead and find a brand that is a retail store's brand. I'm going to go ahead and find great value. And then all of the sellers on this listing should be selling OA or RA products. Uh, they're probably not getting wholesale accounts with great value. So you know that these people are probably sourcing um, OA and RA products. So we can actually just go ahead and check out the store storefronts on this listing uh, and these storefronts are likely to have other profitable products that we can actually uh, copy and list ourselves. Uh, the way you would do this is by uh, f f just looking at the prices, figuring out if Amazon is on the listing, which you can actually do with this extension right here. This extension is called DS Amazon Quick View. It's free. I would recommend you get it. Uh, it it's going to show you at a glance the rank as well as how many sellers are on the listing, which is super useful to know uh, whether or not Amazon is on the listing because when you're first sourcing, you don't want to be competing with Amazon. Uh, so here's an example I just found here of looks like a pretty seasonal product. I bet this one might be a, a profitable opportunity right off the bat here. Um, so literally all you're going to do is copy this, paste it into Google over here, and then we're going to see if we can find it um, from Walmart or anything like that. We found it over here at Walmart for 322, but it looks like it's out of stock. Um, I'd imagine that this product is probably getting scooped up by the people on this listing because this listing does look uh, fairly profitable. Um, but you can see the process there. And then the reason you would need Keepa is let's say that product was in stock for that 322. So our total cost for this would be roughly, uh, what's that, 650 ish. Um, so we'd want to make sure, we'd want to validate on the Keepa graph that the price has never gone below a price that we're comfortable selling it. Not necessarily uh, whether or not we'd be happy selling it there, but we want to be comfortable selling it there. So for example, let's say uh, you can see here that there's been people on this listing for 1530. So just in case this listing does go down to 1530, and since this is a seasonal listing, I'd expect it to go down to that 1530 before too long. Uh, so I'd go to 1530 over here on the profit calculator. This is also free. It's called Amazon FBA calculator. Uh, so we just calculate it like that. And then we're going to punch in our 650. Looks like if it goes back to that 1530 price, we're not super happy with that. Uh, so this might be something to keep in mind. Uh, you could also go ahead and it looks like the buy box is merchant fulfilled right now. So let's say we can get that merchant fulfilled buy box right now at 1750. Capture those limited sales that are on this seasonal listing. This would probably cost about four or so bucks to send. So instead of waiting and hoping that we get to sell it for this 19 FBA, we could buy it, flip it right away and make uh, almost 25 percent profit margin on this so that's uh, a, a nice little pickup here uh, that's just briefly how you would use Keepa to find your first couple products uh, after you find a couple products using Keepa then you're gonna want to upgrade to another software uh, this is a one-time purchase software it's called IP alert um, I recommend using it so I use this software, IP Alert, uh, for uh, protecting your account from those potential IP complaints. I believe it's $100 a year or $200 uh, for a lifetime fee, which I really like buying those lifetime subscriptions. Then you don't have that monthly recurring charge or yearly recurring charge. If you want to get a discount on IP Alert, uh, there's going to be a code down below. It's FOP30. And here's exactly why you would need IP Alert. Um, so let's say you found this, um, this Hydro Flask profitably from Walmart or something with your reverse sourcing with Keepa. Uh, just that small little investment into this tool is going to help you stay protected. Uh, this little siren here is warning us that this brand is in the database of brands 
that file IP complaints against your store if you try to sell these products. So I think this is super useful. I run into this fairly often and it helps save my account. I actually haven't had an IP complaint in uh, well over a year and I've been doing a pretty decent volume in online arbitrage. Um, so that could just kind of is a good testament to the power of this tool. I think it's super useful in protecting your account. I think it's really great uh, to invest in the long-term health of your business. Uh, the next tool I'd recommend you moving on to is Be Cool. Be Cool I'd recommend you buy once you have probably a thousand to two thousand dollars a month in sales uh, just so that the twenty five dollar a month subscription is worth it uh, you can see here how it works uh, there's all kinds of different rules that you can set within be cool um, and then once you list your product you will actually set the minimum and maximum price for that item you can see a bunch of items here that I've sold in the past using be cool and they've helped me make a good amount of money on these items the nice part I like about be cool as a repricer is it doesn't go below that minimum price that you set therefore you won't run into any negative experience Experiences as far as um, having an item price tank uh, beyond where you're comfortable with with your repricer like some other rules based repricers um, this is um, gonna protect you from that um, the the cheapest is a rules based repricer I guess I should say uh, but since you set the minimum price it's definitely a good safeguard against that uh, if you want to check out a longer tutorial on be cool it's gonna be up here above um, for setting up those first repricing rules I will say when I first started using be cool uh, it, it helped improve my my sales by about 50% per month which is awesome and then again when I upgraded to be cool AI which is expensive if you want to go to an AI repricer I'd recommend you do that at about ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month in sales uh, just because you might not even notice the benefits of it if you're doing small volume um, and it is a hundred dollars a month for that AI plan but you can start be cool with twenty five dollars a month and I think it's super worth it if you guys want to check out a free trial there's gonna be a free trial link down below for you um, this is my favorite repricer I've been using it for well over a year uh, it's treated me very well uh, the next software I would recommend you check out here is Inventory Lab. This is the software that I use to do almost all of my listing. Uh, so I can just go ahead and quickly run you through why this software would be useful for you. Let's say we wanted to send in some of these uh, Belvitas that we found. All you would do is type in the ASIN up here. Uh, you're going to click search. You're going to select the item you have. Uh, and then just like that, it's ready to punch in a price. It shows you the prices on the listing. This one looks a little glitched. Uh, there is quite a few offers on this listing. Uh, so I would, if you're watching this video and thinking about it, I wouldn't recommend jumping on this listing, but if you can find that Walmart listing, maybe it could be worth it to do merchant fulfilled. Um, but that that's just an unrelated little tangent there. Uh, the nice part about that I love about Inventory Lab is you can, you can set your prices in here. You can base it off the other prices on here. You can set the quantity. So let's say we bought 20 of these. So we bought 40 boxes of these. Uh, they were going to cost us like $6.50 a box uh, and then we could also add a purchase date just for our SKU and then you could also edit the supplier in here so we could go to Walmart right here uh, and then from here it would be able to track the profit per supplier you can make custom SKUs um, so here we got our supplier we've got the date it was sent in we've got our buy cost so then when we're going back and doing our repricing we know what we paid for it uh, in case these don't sell for the price we liked uh, we'll know in the past whether or not uh, uh, we broke even on this item or um, maybe uh, it'll help you inform that repricing decision in case you do need to um, cut that price to encourage some of those sales to come through um, and then once you press add the batch it'll actually hook up with your Dymo printer uh, you will want a Dymo printer or a Rolo printer I think is the the other alternative you can use um, and it will print out your FN SKU labels uh, where previously you would have to go through a much longer process on Amazon Seller Central while you're prepping your shipment now you can just press add to batch and it'll immediately send those labels to your Dymo printer. Uh, it'll print out those labels and you can slap them on the product uh, and it, it saves you a touch on your item. Uh, it'll save you some time on the software end of things as well because uh, you're not having to go through the, the hoops that the Amazon Seller Central makes you jump through. Uh, and with those tools there, just sourcing with Keepa using Be Cool and a little bit of Inventory Lab, you should be able to get to, to $5,000 a month or maybe $3,000 a month depending on where you want to make the upgrade to Tactical Arbitrage. Tactical Arbitrage is probably my favorite Amazon tool uh, behind Keepa. Keepa is a must, obviously. Uh, but uh, real quickly, I'm sure you're familiar with Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, so 
all you have to do is plug in a website. Let's say we want to scan Walmart for uh, their food, their groceries. All you have to do is press add to bulk here. Now we're going to scan every grocery item on Walmart. This is going to do it so much more automatically than uh, using that Keepa method. Uh, using manual sourcing with Keepa definitely, definitely works. My team still does that uh, and it's a great method for us. But once you get to scale, it's going to be difficult to spend enough money using that uh, software alone. So you can kind of average the cost of your $5,000 a month in sales into the tactical arbitrage subscription. And this should be able to take you much, much higher in sales using uh, tactical arbitrage or a software like it. You can also use tactical arbitrage. The most powerful way that I like to use tactical arbitrage is with uh, coupon codes. So I know for a fact right now, iHerb has a 25% off coupon. Uh, the whole site uh, should be on this front page here once we load it up. Um, and so what you can actually do within Tactical Arbitrage is type in this 25% off coupon here. Uh, so we can go back over here to TA. Um, I've got like 9,000 Chrome tabs open, so my computer is being a little slow with me. Um, but <laughs> um, we can go over here to iHerb. And then we can just plug in whatever category we want because the whole site's on sale. So you just go supplements, you type in store discount 25, plus your cash back from Rakuten, which is probably about three to 4% from iHerb right now. Let me see if it shows it. Yeah, so it's 4% on iHerb. Uh, so we could do 4% plus our credit card cash back. So we've got 5% total cash back. And now when it runs those profit calculations, it's going to be considering a much lower price and it'll be able to see through some of those products that previously weren't profitable, but now are profitable using that coupon code. And I use this a ton. Um, I definitely love tactical arbitrage for the coupon scanning method. Uh, it's super effective. If you guys want to check out a longer tutorial on TA, again, that's going to be up there. Uh, and if you want to check out a free trial of TA, you can use my code fields or the link below in the I'll give you a longer free trial um, and then you can use it for nine days buy whatever you like um, and then if you if you did well on those items uh, then come back and and resubscribe and if not then uh, no harm it didn't work great for your business and that's that's totally fair uh, so the next software I'd recommend um, is for a book business that's pretty much all the software you would need for an online arbitrage business if you're starting a book business all you're pretty much gonna need is scout IQ and an yo yo Bluetooth scanner um, these are both uh, like scout IQ is about forty dollars a month and the the yo yo Bluetooth scanner is only $40 straight up and then you're just going to go to thrift stores and scan the books using this app and your Bluetooth scanner. Uh, it's a super powerful way to kind of build your capital up if you're starting with not a lot of money. Uh, this is how I personally started. Um, and then as well, the last tool I'm going to recommend to you guys is once you really get to scale, uh, once you're spending a lot of time figuring out how much these items are actually selling per month, if you're doing online arbitrage or wholesale or whatever, uh, there is this free estimator tool, which you should be using for quite a while. Um, you can let's so let's just say that this product is selling. It's got a 50,000 sales rank and it's in the beauty category. It'll actually just spit out the sales for you. But once you get to scale, you'll be doing this pretty often. Uh, so it will save you time to actually just have this Chrome extension. I think it's $200 a year, $220 a year or something like that. But I use it to calculate my monthly sales. Um, so you're just going to press this Chrome extension up here. Um, and once it loads in here, it's going to tell us that this product is selling 1400 times a month. And then you'd be able to divide that by the number of competitive sellers and much more quickly decide how much you'd actually be able to sell of this product. And then also, if you want to use Jungle Scout for wholesale, uh, here's a way that I like to use Jungle Scout. Um, again, if, you, if you're doing wholesale, you probably don't need this when you're first starting, but it can help you kind of get some supplier ideas. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and filter these results. Um, and this is a nice way that I like to find uh, potential wholesale suppliers that I can work with. So here's just a random commodity product I pulled up here. Uh, we're actually going to filter out um, Amazon and we're going to look at FBA and FBM. And then we're going to look at uh, only items that have two or more sellers on the listing so that these products are not going to be private label. So then here, now that we've filtered that out, you should have a nice little list of brands that you could potentially uh, reach out to their website and contact them and maybe potentially set up a wholesale account that could be very lucrative for your business. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys found this useful if you're kind of overwhelmed by the amount of softwares. So hopefully that kind of narrowed down your search. Um, and as far as knowing when you need to upgrade to certain softwares, I hope that that helps you out as well. Um, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button, hopefully I've helped out your business in this video. If you could help out mine and hit that button down below, let's make this a trade. That'd be awesome. Um, and if you want to leave any questions down below i'm happy to answer those as well as as well as hitting that like button all that good stuff that's going to help me out get the video out to more people so we can um, all make a good good money on amazon uh, i appreciate you guys watching this video and i will see you next time